Hey, my name is Shiel, and this is the Olympus Pen D3, a half-frame 35mm film camera that was brought into the world in 1965 and captured my heart in 2021. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> What is a half-frame camera? It's a camera that uses half the usual standard 35mm frame. So for example, for every one 35mm photo, you can get two half-frame photos. And yes, that means if your roll can shoot 24 photos or 36 photos, buckle up, because that bad boy now can take 48 or 72 pictures. Out of all the cameras I've used in the past few years, I think this one might be my favorite. The Pen D3 is fully mechanical, so that means if the light meter doesn't work, and you can't find the right battery, it's still 100% usable. And because I'm a goofy goober, I bought one without a working light meter. Save some cash, you know? But if the light meter was working, it would read out the exposure value on the top, which you can then set on the lens. Now that the shutter speed and aperture are set, here's the best part. I can move them together to keep the same exposure value, but change the shutter speed and aperture together, which is what made this camera super simple for any photographer back in the day. Step aside, Kanye, because this camera is genius. So why buy a half-frame camera? I think different camera formats make you think differently on what you're taking the picture of and capture things in a different way that you might not have if you had another camera that you're used to using. And one of my favorite things that you can do with a half-frame camera are diptychs. A diptych is a painting or piece made of two parts, usually side by side, and sometimes on hinges so they can close together. A lot of biblical things and whatever. You might know the Maryland diptych, pretty famous. Two images side by side. This is what you can do with a half frame camera because you can scan the full 35 millimeter frame. This makes it a little bit more fun. You're thinking differently now, aren't you? You can now kind of tell a little story if you want with what you're seeing. It can be two pictures of the same subject in different orientations, a wide establishing picture with the detail right beside it, two pictures of two different perspectives that you're seeing, anything you want that can kind of add to a little story that you're trying to capture. And that's been a lot of fun. Super small, super compact, easy to take around. I mean, mine's annoying because there's no light meter, so I use my phone, light meter, check it, set it, and then take my picture. <laughs> Other than that, super fun to take around and a little bit cost efficient because you're taking double the amount of pictures that you would have. Olympus had a long line of pen cameras. It's not just the D3. There's the D, the D2, the EE, the unfortunately named EES. Whose idea was that? <laughs> the Olympus pennies. What do you have? I have a pennies. Excuse. Uh, the EE2, EE3, and just a bunch of different ones that you can search up if you're looking at getting a half frame camera. Fun camera, easy to take around, super small and compact, really cute. If you like cute things, do I recommend half frame cameras? Yes, they're fun. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Please suggest any other videos that I should talk about. Go out and take some pictures. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. This is my first kind of like review type of it. Is this a review? My experience. My microphone stand is another camera. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs> Yo, what the frick is up YouTube? My name is Shiel. It's frickin'.